Today is the day before my surgery, and I wanted to document what led me up to this point, my decision to have surgery. I have a lot of sinus issues. I wake up with a runny nose and I'm sneezy. I have allergies, indoor and outdoor. Um, I am a mouth breather because I cannot breathe up through this side of the nose. I snore because of that. Exercising, I get a little winded um, more so than not. Um, I've been getting sinus infections the last probably three to four years, at least once or twice a year. And basically, last December, I met with the ENT doctor. They told me I had a deviated septum significantly to the right where it was causing the obstruction. So basically, it goes like this. They wanted me to do a sinus CT scan, sleep apnea testing, allergy testing. At that point, I did not do any of those just because I didn't have any current issues going on and um, it'd be more money out of pocket. So this last July, I got a really bad sinus infection, or at least that's what I thought it was. Um, went into an urgent care. They gave me antibiotics and Vicodin um, because I had ear pain. I had teeth pain. I also had bulging along my gum line, so something was in there pushing down, and I figured it was part of the sinus infection. So that stuff did not take care of the issue. It was two weeks later, and I noticed this region of my cheek um, stayed like this. It actually was smaller than this, and it just kept getting bigger. So I called the ENT doctor again to set up a scan of my sinuses and then meet with them to go over that. So after that process... Uh, when I met with the ENT doctor, they told me this region here actually was not uh, a um, fluid or tissue. It actually is my maxilla, maxilla uh, bone here. So you can see on this side, I can push down. It doesn't push out. This side, I'm pushing as hard as I can. That's the bone right there. So there's some sort of cyst behind there causing the bone to bulge out. And that's what causing the pain. It's bulging down into um, the floor or near my gum and the roots of my teeth. It's bulging back towards my ear. So she referred me to a maxillofacial doctor. Happened to be the same doctor that did my open jaw surgery 10 years ago to fix the open bite. And he had said it appeared to be more of tissue than... Um, cystic so he wanted to have a biopsy before we scheduled surgery so he knew what he would be treating when they went in for the biopsy they actually didn't have to with um, extract any tissue they went in with a needle first and were able to extract fluid and they actually sucked a lot of fluid out through that and that led them to determine that it was um, cysts so from that point i um, scheduled the surgery and i actually was able to have them finagle and have the septum uh, surgery done at the same time, which is the septoplasty. So tomorrow I go in and it will be outpatient procedure. I have the first doctor, which is oral maxillofacial, going in, cutting from front to back along my gum, pulling my cheek back and removing the cysts. He might find other issues in there that he will have to take care of. I don't know. But the big thing is removing those cyst lining. So hopefully the cysts don't come back. After I get sold back up, I'll have a plastic surgeon going in and fixing my septum, which again is, is um, interior, not exterior. You can obviously see from my video here, I have exterior exterior issues that won't be addressed with this surgery. I'm hoping though after the surgery, the swelling will go down, my bone will retract some, some there and hopefully this will go back a little bit to how it used to be but I do not know but like I said it's to fix ex interior purposes exterior I won't probably see a change with how this looks um, they will also be doing a turbinite out fracture which basically they'll be breaking my turbinites and moving them out they'll still function as normal but it'll give me um, more opening in my nose and more air flow up through there after that, I will have another doctor, which will be an ENT doctor, going up through this side and making sure my maxillary sinus opening is big enough. Um, if not, make it big enough just so I have the proper drainage there. I've been told I will have two splints in my nose, which I will not be able to breathe out of for a week. Uh -huh. That will keep it in place and let it start healing. Uh, they told me only about a week recovery. I actually took two weeks off. If I feel better after a week, I'll go back to work. But right now, two weeks with everything that's going on, I think that's what I will need. Um, I'm assuming they'll put me on antibiotics and some painkillers. 
um, to help help with everything. I will mention I'm currently on probiotics, which is going to be your good bacteria. I'll be taking more of those throughout the recovery just because I want to keep the good bacteria in my body when you're on antibiotics. Um, it's going to kill all bacteria, good or bad. So very important that I continue to take those and take them at a higher rate. I also will be using uh, essential oils to help the recovery process as well. Pink, um, help with the pain and tissue regeneration. It should help speed along the recovery more so than if I did not use the oils. Um, as far as anything that I have right now, I have a humidifier to help moisturize the air. Um, I got a lot of soft foods, low sodium foods. Uh, also, I have some cough drops because you're going to have a sore throat from the tube being down your throat along with all the mouth breathing. And then just I have extra pillows so when I sleep at night, I will be able to be elevated. I will be documenting my recovery process, um, what worked, what didn't work, any issues that I came across. Um, hopefully I have a speedy recovery and stuff goes as planned. And like I said, I will um, be on here after surgery tomorrow to let you know how it went. Today is the day after my surgery. I actually went in yesterday, reported at 10 o'clock in the morning. Did not get in for surgery until 3 in the afternoon. Took about four hours, so I wasn't actually out of the operating room and back to my um, bed until like uh, 7 o'clock at night. So I ended up staying overnight up at the hospital and left at about 10 o'clock today to come home. Um, as far as surgery goes, they said everything went well. With my cysts that were in the cheek, it was just one big cyst. It did cause a few problems, but um, septoplasty went fine. ENT doctor made a hole in my sinus for drainage. Um, they sent me home with uh, oxycodone and a antibiotic. Um, I guess the, the worst part, I guess, was when I was in the operating room. When I was coming out of it, they were trying to wake me up, and I was tired, and then they keep trying to wake you up till you get up. Um, first night sleeping was okay. We'll see here when I'm at home how it goes. Uh, have a lot of blood crusting in my nose. Makes you want to scratch it out. It's just weird sitting there, but you can't. Um, this sling right here, I wear it to catch blood because it's draining out of my nose. But... Um, it also helps kind of keep the moisture in my nose too. Otherwise, if you have that off, it's all dry and crusty. I also have a humidifier going, um, soft foods. Uh, basically, I do go back next week to get the splints removed and they'll let me know about doing any sort of rinses. I did double check before I went home and they said no rinses. Um, I think that's about it. I will uh, check in tomorrow after um, I get up, get up and see how it's going. Maybe hopefully have the swelling done down over here. Um, this is where the cysts were removed so you can see how fat it is. Really cracked uh, lips. Some chapping here. Chafing just because they yanked my cheek that way and it's really sore. But I will touch base tomorrow and let you know how it's going. Today is Wednesday, two days after surgery. I am feeling pretty good, um, obviously, except for the swelling here. That's due to them going into my cheek to remove the cysts, and then I have some severe um, chafing here. But my nose is swelled up a bit. Um, I try to wear the uh, sling underneath the nose to keep some moisture in there, but it's not bothering me too much if I leave it off too long. It starts drying out a little too much. Trying to, to not take too much of the pain medications. Um, antibiotics, I've taken those. I've been taking some of my essential oils and um, drinking some Ninja Red. Um, 
can't open my mouth very far again due to the surgery that was done over here. But my nose, um, the one side, it feels like there's some backed up blood in there. And I'm going to hopefully try to work that out. I took a shower yesterday. That definitely helps. All the humidity helps with the nose. Um, that is it for today. I will touch base tomorrow. Today is Thursday. I had my surgery on Monday. Um, everything's going fine. I just feel like I have a really bad head cold, very congested. I am still wearing the sling to keep my nose moist, otherwise it dries out a little too much. Um, nothing else really, like I said, it just feels like a really bad head congestion. Um, wait for the swelling to go down on this side of my face. Um, I can feel the splints in my nose here, but um, nothing I can't deal with. Uh, the oxycodone um, helps me sleep at night, but I try to not take it during the day. Um, I would definitely recommend making sure you drink enough water throughout the day so you form uh, mucus and keep everything hydrated. That is all for today. Today is day five after my surgery. It was okay. A lot of my swelling has gone down. As far as the septoplasty goes, the biggest irritation is just having the splints in the nose. I feel like they need to come out. I cannot breathe at all through my nose. Um, I hate eating the soft foods, but only have a couple days left. Um, the most pain that I have is probably from my um, uh, removing my cyst in my jaw and my teeth. I have stitches right there and then all the way back. So that's what hurts most. If you're having just a septoplasty done, it's really not that bad. I uh, wasn't advised to do any rinses, but we'll see how everything goes after the appointment. Today is day six. I feel a lot better. Last night I did not sleep with the sling on my nose. Um, just making sure I clean it out with peroxide and put Vaseline in there. I cannot wait to get the splints out. Those are probably the most irritating. It feels like a plastic spoon shoved up your nose and just sitting there. I can't breathe very well. Um, I still have a lot of numbing here where I can't even feel the side of my face where they took out the cyst. Um, I have not been taking pain medicine, just I uh, use my essential oils and make sure I take my antibiotics and probiotics and um, hopefully everything goes good when they remove those splints and I can breathe pretty good. Yeah, the next idea is going to hurt. No, it shouldn't be much different. Okay. Okay. Good. How's that? Good. Can you breathe? Yeah. Good. You did great. Today was my one week follow up appointment, which went really well. The first thing they did was cut out the stitch that held the splints in and pull the splints out. That was kind of painful. It's just really weird um, having something so big come out of your nose, it's getting pulled out of a small hole. So it was kind of uh, painful. Um, after that, they went up with machine and cleaned stuff out, sucked stuff out. That was kind of um, irritating. Uh, then after that, they numb me up with some nasty tasting spray and went in with uh, um, scope and looked in my sinus and my cheek and everything looked good. They just had to do some cleaning of different areas. Uh, I saw the tube as the stuff was getting sucked out. It was all full of blood and yucky stuff. 
Um, then I guess the doctors took a look, said stuff was looking good. I can breathe. It is great to be able to breathe. Um, my other stuff with my cyst on this side, um, just, it was bizarre, I guess. Basically what I got from the appointment was they thought it was really a unique kind of situation. It ended up being a surgical cyst, more than likely caused by my past surgery 10 years ago of my jaw. Um, I do still have some paralysis here. I still have my stitches all along my gum line here, which will dissolve out. I still have some stitches up here. One thing I will mention with the septoplasty that I did not know, they only actually have to um, slice open one side, which they did this side, and that's the side that's raw and a little tender. So this side, after they pulled the splint out, everything feels good, but this side is still healing. That um, is worth noting. I also found out that they had to do a turbinite reduction. Reason being, um, my sinus over here did not have a drainage hole. Uh, there was bone covering the normal hole and they couldn't work with that. Like I said, it's really weird how all my bone grew back here with and how stuff formed around that cyst. So they had to put it further down and it was kind of right where a turbinite is and they had to cut some of that off, but I still have part of it there so I shouldn't have any problems. Um, I only have to go back in another month uh, for an another follow-up just to make sure stuff's going well. I am doing my sinus rinses now twice a day, probably be doing it more. Definitely make sure you stay on top of those. My first one that I did did have some pink, you know, obviously blood and whatnot. But stay on top of that. Um, I guess what I think helped me with my recovery, and they said stuff did look really good, especially along my gum line, was using the essential oils. Um, what I really used a lot for the pain and healing was heliochrism and frankincense on my gum. And then I also used some for the pain, and that um, was a mix of, uh, I guess Gary Young had a whole mix for pain post-surgical. That's what I used. You can Google that and find that. Um, I did use the Oxycontin. Uh, probably it was my first three days, and after that I didn't use it. Anytime I had pain, I'd use the oils. I also took Ninja Red um, twice a day, probably four to six ounces. Just helps revitalize the body. Big thing is rest. Make sure you take off enough time. I am going back to work on Thursday. My surgery was a week ago today. So I could have probably went back tomorrow, but I'm still a little tender and painful. You need to take make sure you take time off to rest and let your body recoup. Uh, anybody that's thinking about going through this, I would definitely recommend it. I did tons and tons and tons of research, watch videos, and to tell you the truth, a lot of it scared me because everybody's negative about it. There's a few people out there that are positive, but I felt like it was the right decision for me with what was going on. I definitely had to have the cyst removed because that was causing problems, but I couldn't breathe out of this nose. The cyst was pushing in towards my nasal cavity, plus I had deviated septum. So I definitely, um, the septoplasty was something that I'm glad I got done. But if I could recommend anything, make sure you do your research, be prepared, make sure you go to a certified uh, doctor, somebody that has good reputation, a good facility, and um, ask your questions as stuff comes up. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be scared by what you read out there. Yes, any surgery that you have is going to have some downsides, but I strongly believe that the um, benefits outweigh the negatives. I mean, who doesn't want to be able to breathe through their nose and um, hopefully not snore, be able to exercise without getting winded, a lot of different things. Um, so like I said, this is a definitely a different experience, but I definitely go through it again. Hopefully I never have to, but I go through it again and I'd recommend it for somebody that had similar problems that I had.